All righty, I have a quick construction update for you guys today. So as you can see here, the uh, part of Elp and Fury that goes from that last inversion on over to the brake run is uh, marked up. So they marked all the caissons and footings leading up to the brake run slash station for Elp and Fury. So that's exciting. I believe... I obviously don't know the behind the scenes areas. I believe every aspect of the coaster is officially marked. Um, so that's good news. Um, they were working inside the mountain. PDI demolition is inside the mountain as well, getting ready to demolish one of the walls um, and start cutting away at those cross beams that separate two levels. Um, so they're gonna raise the level a little bit and they're gonna build a permanent section inside the mountain. Um, and in our tour, Brent kind of discussed uh, for room for a future attraction. Now, he did provide a little further details on what that future attraction could look like. Um, and I'm going to talk about that in another video about what I think is coming to Canada's Wonderland down the road. Not anytime soon. But as you see here, leading into Tunnel 3, they are finishing off um, the remaining caissons to then build footings on top. Um so that's exciting. Um, what is going to happen after here is there's going to be a lot of work. So as you see, that caisson down there, it's not a footing yet, it's a caisson, um, is heading towards that wall or like right to the right of the PDI uh, excavation excavator. So they're going to remove that wall and it's going to start angling upwards. It starts to launch upwards like you see in the animation. If you've been inside, and I'll, I'll insert the clips in the tour, the distance of launch is a lot smaller than you think. So this is going to pack a really big punch. Um, but what's interesting is the amount of work that still needs to take place inside the mount. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this takes place. Um, there is some kind of like work. I Obviously, they're not going to do it all because they have the entrance to the ruins um, with some support columns that have to go in there. And they've already marked those off. So... I'm really curious to see how they're going to do this construction phase over the next month. The next 30 days is going to be a lot of work that needs to take place, but a lot of it's going to be inside the mountain. We should start to see some work over uh, heading out um, beside International Showplace towards Extreme Sky Flyer. Um, I have heard they are going to start construction this week on that plot of land in terms of the caissons and footings. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we start to see that. So there's some really cool things to at least show you guys um, visually on the outside of the mountain. Um, and it's not all just peeking through a hole for construction updates <laughs> over the next 30 days. Um, but anyways, super excited for the content that I have um, written down here that I'm going to be working on for the next week as uh, my speculation videos are going to come back. So I have my 10-year plan ready to go um, with some pretty concrete information. Um, and then my predicted ride removals. I know I've seen a lot of you comment on what's been missing out of the rendering, the POV of Elpen Fury. And I just want to say, don't take that seriously. There's a lot of rides missing from that animation. So it is not a hint. Um, but yes, I'll talk about my opinions on ride removals and the next 10 years at Canada's Wonderland and more. I just don't want to reveal um, some of my other video ideas. But yeah. Stay tuned, guys. Anyways, thank you so much for the support you've been showing Amusement Insiders um, and the channel. A lot of work goes into this. Um, for those of you that don't know, I obviously still have a job outside of this channel. And sometimes the content becomes super overloaded. And I work really hard to get these videos out as soon as possible for you guys. Um, otherwise, they'll just pile up. And honestly, uh, the views and the comments and the likes have meant a lot, especially this last couple weeks. Um, and I promise you that I will continue to do all this work for you guys. If you're looking for drone coverage, um, right now it is going to be Patreon exclusive. Um, so I will fly the drone um, with Wonderland's permission. Um, covering the construction of Elpen Fury. And until the park closes, it will be uh, Patreon exclusive. Anyways, thank you so much um, and have a good one, guys. Bye.